welcome to you all on this rather chilly morning. Well, it's not too bad. It's lovely and autumnal out there. How are you all doing? What have you been doing? How has your week been? It is Friday. It's been a very, very busy week um, and we've got some absolutely lovely bracelets to do for you today. So we're going to be doing some chain mail. Just very, very simply, really easy to do, very quick make. There's lots of ways you can kind of put this together. So I'm going to show you my method, which I think is a speedy one. So it's just going to be opening up some jump rings. We've got some beautiful colour seed beads for you. And we've got four lovely, lovely choices. Now you're going to get absolutely loads in your kit today. Each kit is going to make up four bracelets. It's an absolute bargain of a price anyway, but we've got a multi-part multi-buy deal on for you as well so drop me a comment where you're watching from what's the weather like what have you been up to and just generally come and say hello to me so hello to janice she says hi beaders from wet and windy swansea well done to you natalie thank you very much um janice is i think referring to a competition that i've been in this week which was so much fun i'm still waiting to hear if i go through to the next round so Fingers crossed, I will do, um, but it's been lots of fun. Um, and obviously I've been very, very busy because I've still got all these wonderful makes to do with you, my gorgeous Toby Beads family. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Francis says, good morning, everybody. Camille says, good morning, Natalie. Uh, I looked very calm on Wednesday and your piece was gorgeous. Thank you. I wasn't very calm. I didn't sleep a wink the night before. Just, well, I did, because when I did, I had, horrible dreams I was just full of anxiety but it was a really lovely day met some very lovely talented people um so win-win all round it was good it was a good day out Elaine says good morning Natalie foggy and damp here in South Lincolnshire so glad you're here to cheer me up well that's lovely um I have seen a few comments on our group um this week and I just wanted to remind you all that we are jewelry makers we are a beading community, but we're also a little family as well. There's lots of love and lots of support there. So if anyone's feeling a little bit low or is struggling with anything, reach out to your community. We're all here to, to send you loads of love and look after you all. Uh, David said, my week's been interesting. I've been making more crystal netting. I've got another meeting after this one. It's great in Frinton on Sea. Good morning to Teresa. Hello to Adelina. She says, hello, Natalie. You're brilliant on Wednesday. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate all of your lovely comments and all of your support. It, you made me feel a lot calmer because I knew that you'd be rooting for me. So thank you for that. Um, good morning to Elaine in a cold and windy Accrington. Caroline says, good morning, Natalie and our beading family. Not been in for a while. The sun is shining in Brixham. Well, welcome to you, Caroline, and thank you for joining us today. Good morning to Gwen. Hello to Tutu. Good morning to Lucy. She says, good morning, our little gem. Well, hello, my lovely Lucy. Hello to Heidi. Uh, good morning to Anna. She says, good morning all. I've been busy all week looking for my wee cat. Oh no, he's been missing since the 13th. Oh, sweetheart. Is it a boy cat? You've said he's been missing. Boy cats tend to do that. They will go roaming. They can go up to 10 miles, I believe. They go all sorts of places. So I'm sure, Anna, he's being well looked after somewhere else. He's probably getting fed in somebody else's house. And I hope he comes back to you soon. Sending lots of love to you. Hello to Joy. She says, good morning, Natalie. Foggy and damp here in Peterborough. Good morning to Ruth. Hello to Anne. Good morning to Jane. Hello to Ruby. She says, good morning. I bought the pumpkin necklace and I'm waiting for it to arrive i'm sure it will be with you soon ruby obviously we've got a few postal issues at the moment but the team make sure that they get things out to you as soon as possible i hope you have fun with the pumpkin and um, good morning to kath she says good morning natalie and everybody um <laughs> camille says did your mum get the gems you were hinting at no <laughs> Good morning to Judith. Uh, hello to Julie. Nicole says, hi, Natalie, and everyone watching from Oregon. I'm so happy for rainy weather today. We've been surrounded by fires too. The air quality has been really bad. I've just finished the pumpkin pendant you showed us earlier in the week. I hope you're all right, Nicole. I hope um, 
you're safe and that's the main thing good morning to sharon hello to sheila um thank you so much that's really really kind of you good morning to alison hello to anne um yeah anne says her cat is tagged and neutered um but not guilty of straying out as he loves his cuddles. Oh, Anne, I hope he comes back for you soon. Good morning to Camille. She's giving me laughy, smiley faces. Good morning to Kim. Um, oh, she says it's her first live in a while. She's looking forward to it. And good morning to our lovely, lovely Debbie. Thank you so much for your kind words. So today we've got beautiful bracelets. I'm going to take you straight over to the website because can't wait to show you what an absolute bargain this is and as i say we've got multi-buy offers so if you want to get extra you can do you're gonna get loads in your kit so each kit's gonna make up four bracelets however you're gonna get a lot of seed beads so if you would like to make more just buy some extra jump rings maybe an extra lobster clasp Thank you, Lucy. I appreciate that. Right, so over to the website we go. If you've not been with us for a while and you need a little reminder, then we are totallybeads.co.uk. So let's go into our video tutorials. Loads of ways you can find us. You can go into the categories and find us here. You can go to the big logo at the top there, or you can scroll down and see all the gorgeous goodies and find us in video tutorials on the main page so everything we do is always at the top the most recent ones we've been doing so there's the pumpkin pendant i made some lovely little kitty jewelry with you we did some halloween decorations today is the clara bracelet they are super easy to make and i think really really pretty and very comfortable to wear you only need some minimal materials and as for tools i'm just going for two pairs of pliers which is just going to help me open and close those jump rings up so all you need is in your kit they are five pounds 99 each and as i say you're making four bracelets up in each kit so what does that work out at about one pound 50 a bracelet and so you can add those extra as well or you can get two for 10 pounds now we ship worldwide you can change that currency for yourself if you need to absolute bargain today so if you're getting two for 10 pounds what's that work out is that like one pounds 25 a bracelet absolute bargain so you can choose from your peridot gold we've got beautiful plum black we've got red rose and a sapphire silver so three different colors of beautiful size six seed beads for you to work with today and each of your jump rings and your findings are going to be different on each of those colors so we've got the gold we've got a gorgeous black plate we've got the rose gold colorway and we've also got the silver if you're mixing this up personally you know we're talking about getting into that festive season I think the red rose and that peridot would look lovely. You could mix the green and you could mix the um, red seed beads up and you've got something very, very festive there as well. They're all very beautiful. I'm going to demo today with the black plum because it's black. So it's a little bit more spooky. I'm still tying in with the autumn vibes, but they're all absolutely gorgeous. So let's have a little look what is in your kit so clara bracelet in peridot gold you're getting your jump rings a big pack of your jump rings which are 10 millimeter you're getting some six millimeter jump rings as well we're going to use those to attach each one together and pop that little clasp on at the end you're getting four of your lobster clasps they're 10 millimeters so they look very dainty and they just work really nicely with this design and you're getting your size six seed beads now they're very very beautiful we've got like they're kind of like a translucent beautiful colors on these this peridot one is absolutely gorgeous i will show you them down on the mat as well if you want to get more than four bracelets out of your kit then i would just say get some more jump rings because you're gonna get an awful lot of seed beads to play about with so that one is your peridot gold we've got the beautiful black plum now these seed beads 
are such a lovely colour. If you're not sure of what findings and things we're using, you can always scroll down and you can see each of the products individually. So these ones are your transparent rainbow purple. They've got loads of colours on them. They are predominantly purple, but you've got pinks and yellows and lovely little rainbow colours in that. So if you like it colourful, if maybe you're like our lovely Lucy who's obsessed with pink, then this one might be more of a colourway for you. Though the red is gorgeous too, they're also lovely. And these are the black plated jump rings that we're using. So 10 millimetre and 6 millimetre jump rings. Everything you need in your pack is £5.99 for you today. So that one is the black plum. We've got the gorgeous red rose. These are on your um, rose gold coloured findings. Very, very pretty. And it looks very different on when this on this photo that I've taken, it's showing you that lovely kind of wiggly effect that we've got with the seed beads that are on opposite sides. When you wear it on your wrist, it's going to sit flat and it's going to be very, very pretty and very comfortable. So that one is your red rose. And lastly, but by no means least, is your gorgeous sapphire silver. These blue seed beads are just so lovely. I'm always drawn to blues. I'm loving the peridot today, to be honest. I'm loving them all. Everything in your kit today makes four bracelets and you can also get two for £10 if you can't decide. So you might think, actually, I want two of the same colour. That offer still applies. You don't have to mix and match them. But why wouldn't you want to? Because you're getting so much in there. So £5.99 today or two for £10. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to come back into the comments and say hello to anyone I may have missed. I've got loads again today, which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, hello to Sharon, who's all the way in Texas. Good evening to you or is it very early morning i'm not too sure hello darling uh, hello to sheila she says good morning natalie thank you very much for your lovely lovely comments hello to allison and in as well um good morning to kim k uh, i don't think that's kardashian but who knows hello kim she says good morning everybody um good morning to sharon carol Teresa. um Teresa, I will share you the link later on if you want to have a little watch back. Lucy shared the link for you today. So we are on totallyleads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash Clara Bracelet. So you can always find us on the website. You can go over onto our YouTube channel and you can catch us up there. And all of our tutorials will stay on the page forever. So you'll be able to watch back it any point you want to good morning to angela um judith saying i thought it was earrings today no it's a bracelet today i'm doing a bracelet again with you on monday and then friday i'm going to be doing some lovely little earrings with you i'm feeling the cube shapes at the moment so we're going to kind of look at some absolutely gorgeous silver foil beads as well lucy says the red rose is her favorite today camille agrees too um, Diane saying it would make a good necklace. You're going to get enough stuff in there, really, to be able to make a long necklace, Diane, if you wish. Good morning to Kate in Wisconsin. Hello to Angela. Is that Angela? No, it's Angel. Hello, my love. She says, good morning from Idaho. It's 3 a.m. there and she can't sleep. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Do I need to speak a bit quieter then, Angel? Good morning to Sylvia. It's 7.45 in the evening in South Australia. So hello to you. We've got a worldwide audience today, which is amazing. Right, I'm going to take you down on the mat and I'm going to show you these beautiful bracelets. Look at them. Four gorgeous colourways for you today. I'm not going to put them on. I'm just going to put them across my wrist at the moment. I've made these quite large for me. So I think I've got, in these ones, I've got about 15 of the large 10mm uh, jump rings. And that's bringing this bracelet out at about 8 inches. Um, so if you want to make it smaller, just add less links. If you want to make it um, larger, just add more. If you're making a necklace, Ruby says it'd make a really cool choker, then you just need to add some more. That's not a problem. 
This one is your gorgeous Peridot. I think it looks gorgeous against that gold plate. I have got small wrists, so for me, I think I probably only need about 12 of the uh, gorgeous jump rings. So that one is your Peridot. And my colour on the camera isn't doing this justice. It's the most beautiful, beautiful green. They do move around, but the way that you've popped your jump rings on will mean they'll stay on each side. This one is your gorgeous rose red. So we've got the rose gold coloured findings. Look at, can you see the kind of colour that's coming up on those seed beads? They are translucent, but again, they've got a rainbowy kind of finish on them. They're very, very pretty. Diane is loving the Peridot. Lucy's also maybe changing her mind. Tutti says it's very, very pretty. And this is the black plate one. So I'm going to be doing this one with you today. I wish it was a little bit lighter in here today because I need to be able to show you these gorgeous, gorgeous seed beads. So they are purple, but they've got little flashes of blue, green, full kind of rainbow colour on them so they're absolutely lovely and they're super simple to make so let's get started i'll move these slightly out the way just so we've got a little bit of focus down on my mat so you're going to get all of your jump rings i'm going to start with my 10 millimeter jump rings and i'm just going to open them up to begin with there's as i say there's lots of ways you can do this you can open up your six millimeter jump rings and attach them that way or you can keep those closed and add them on so whatever method you find is easiest i tend to just start by opening up my jump rings and i'll open a little pile of them so when we open a jump ring i'm going to make sure that i'm putting my pliers on as much of that surface area as possible leaving a little gap where that opening is and I'm just going to give it a little turn towards me. You can turn it towards you or away from you to open it up and to close it. But we don't want to open it out that way. If we open it up that way, we're going to start distorting that shape. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep our jump rings lovely and circular and very, very strong. So I'm just going to very quickly just sit and open them up. Now, for my wrist, as I say probably only need about 12 um but you're getting loads in there so i've made them i've designed them so you're using at least 15 which is going to give you eight inches on your bracelet so i you might need that you might not but i'd rather you have that little bit more um and have some left over i mean actually you could make a gorgeous pair of earrings to match with these Ooh, I haven't thought about that. Lots of ideas for you to play about with. So I'm just taking a lot of my surface area and just opening it up by giving it a twist towards me. David says, I agree. These would make lovely necklaces and bracelets as a set. They're gorgeous and he's tempted. Oh, get them, David. They're an absolute bargain today. And Nicole is saying she loves the last one, which I think this is the one I'm demoing with. Now, when it comes to my six millimeter jump rings, I'm going to get a few out. And at the moment, I'm going to just keep these closed. I might have a little look at them and just check that they are fully closed. I can open them up if I need to. But as I say, this method for me works probably the quickest. So I'm just going to make sure that they're all fully closed. If they're slightly staggered can i get a bit of focus on that to show you what i mean so that's slightly staggered all i'm going to do is just give it a little twist and i can hear that rubbing together so sometimes i'll go slightly past the point where it should meet and then let go and it should string spring back but you can see now that's fully closed most of them look like they are, to be honest. So I'm just going to check. They're all nice and neat. And I always think the way to make this a 
quickest make as possible hear that click then is just to prep your materials first so if i can open up and close the jump rings that i need to then it's just a case of threading them on together and then i don't really have to be picking it up and putting it down i can just keep hold of it with my pliers i have had one fire off on me which did make me laugh because i started to look where have i put that where did that go and i was i found the jump ring then i realized it was a completely different color so the one that i found was obviously something that i've pinged away previously um but if, i think if i just prep my materials first i love that sound it's so satisfying hearing that just click together so i've got closed six millimeter jump rings open 10 millimeter jump rings bridget says good morning everybody sorry facebook wouldn't let you in but now she's made it so welcome um i always call you bridget don't i is that it's not right is it it's Birgit. thank you for joining us today good morning to sue who's in plymouth she's just put um all of them in a basket which is fantastic okay i'm now going to just start picking up my open jump rings i'm going to hold it in my hand my less dominant hand so for me this is my left and i'm going to start threading on three of those beautiful seed beads now they're all slightly irregular in shape um, but they will go on easily you might find the odd one doesn't but you're getting loads in your kit so if that happens just pop that to the side i'm also going to thread on two of my closed jump rings and then for now i'm going to close this one over so I've got my seed beads on one side, my jump rings on two. I'm then gonna pick up another one and I'm gonna slide on my open 10 millimeter jump ring on to those six millimeter ones. I've got them all over my desk, so I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. So I've gone through the two, uh, two little six millimeter jump rings that i've popped on there and i'm going to want my seed beads to start sitting on the opposite side so i can get that little wiggly effect at the moment these are just going to sit in the middle and they will move to one side once i've put those other jump rings on angela's asking what size are the seed beads these are size six so i'm going to pick up three of my size six seed beads and I'm popping them on to one side of that jump ring so it's staying on one side because I've got those six millimeters on I'm gonna swap over my hand so hold them on the other side and I'm gonna pick up two more of those jump rings that are closed and I'm gonna thread them on and then close over that large 10 millimeter jump ring. You can keep popping it down if you wish. So if you can see, it's starting to make this shape. And then gonna pick up another one, thread that through so at this point, I've got those seed beads sitting on the right hand side. This time I'm gonna pop them onto the left. You can put your seed beads on in any direction and then pop your jump rings on to, to join them together. I will do that for you as well, just so you can see that different method. But this is the way I find it quickest. So I'm just popping on my seed beads onto one side I'm popping my jump rings onto the other and I'm popping them on to the other side just so I can, I've got that little bit more room to hold on to it. Then I'm gonna close it over and I'm gonna take it slightly past the point it needs to be so it will spring back perfectly closed. Again, if you want to, you can keep just popping it back down and checking you've got them on the right side. Pick another one up and thread that larger jump ring through the two smaller ones. Now I've got my seed beads on the left, so I'm going to hold it on the left while I pick up my next three size six seed beads. 
and just slide them onto the opposite side. Hold it again with my pliers. Add on those extra two jump rings and close that ring over. This is super, super quick make. You'll find that you don't have to keep picking it up and putting it down if you don't want to. And that way, because you've prepped your materials already, it'll come together really, really quick. So again, just popping my seed beads onto the other side. As you can see, they thread on really, really nicely. You might get the odd one that where the hole is slightly smaller, but you're getting so many in your pack, you're going to have more than enough to make up four bracelets. Now holding it again on the other side, picking up two of my closed jump rings, closing that over. You can give them a little bit of a wiggle if you need to, just to make sure that's properly closed. Then I'm sliding those two jump rings up, the closed ones, so I can pick up my next 10 millimetre and slide that through. Really, really easy, really, really quick. Lucy says, a really, really lovely project today. I'm going to give it a go. It's so simple. If you're looking for something quick to do, you just want to make some lovely bracelets. Again, they're going to make really nice stocking fillers. I know we don't all want to be speaking about that, that Christmas event that's coming up really, really quickly. But time is just absolutely flying. So if you're making as gifts, this is a very quick one to do and a very enjoyable one to do as well. I'm going to give that jump ring a little wiggle just to make sure that they're fully closed and that sprung shut. Slide up my next, add on my other one. And if you do make a mistake, if you think, oh, I've put the seat beads on the wrong side, you can just take it off as quickly as you put it on. It's, you know, really straightforward to do. I do it this way and then that way I don't forget what side I'm working off. But as I say, you could always do your jump rings and then just open up your six millimeter ones to attach them all together instead, if you prefer that method. Oh, I didn't put my other seed beads, uh, my other jump rings on there. So say if you forget something, all you have to do, open it back up and close it again. see what's missed in the comments. I'm getting some lovely heart emojis. Thank you very much. David says, uh, talking about things spooky, things are going missing in my house. I know our place is haunted as I see ghosts like arms which appear. Oh my gosh, that sounds um, a little bit frightening, David. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> Good morning to Julie. She says it's beautiful. Um, David says, I've just ordered a pair of for pair for the four plus the extras it looks like really good bracelet thank you david and um lucy is saying that she loves your crystal necklace that you made it was really really nice so if you've made something doesn't have to be something that we've done on the live you may have um got a project that you're really proud of then pop it in the handmade group let us all see what you've done share your wonderful work. On the flip side, if you've made something that you're struggling with or you feel like you need a little bit of advice, you can always pop your questions in there as well. Um, we've got a lovely, lovely group of people. Everyone's really friendly. People only give constructive criticism when it's asked for. Um, so don't be shy about sharing your makes. You will inspire somebody else, I'm sure, um, to make something. So don't be shy, share your lovely makes. So I'm closing that over, picking up my next 10 millimetre jump ring, sliding that through my six millimetre jump rings, adding on my next lot of seed beads. So I've picked up three, I'm putting three on each time and then hold it on that side 
so I've got space to add on my extra six millimeters and I've ran out of six millimeters. I need to get more out of my bag. There's absolutely loads in your pack. So I'm just going to pour a couple of those out. I can go back afterwards and check they're fully closed if I need to. So I'm just going to check that one is lined up nicely. And sliding on the next. So I think this bracelet will probably take you less than 10 minutes. Providing you've opened all your jump rings up and you've got the others out ready to go. So if I need a little bit more space, I'm just going to tilt and let gravity drop those seed beads down to the side and the bottom. And then I can just thread on the next one. Swapping my hands over, adding on those extra jump rings and closing it up. And then I'm just going to check that these are fully closed. I just love that sound, that little click. Okay, so that's how easy it is to start putting it together. If you want to, I mean, you can work this any way you want. If you wanted to, you could just make a little pile of your 10 millimeters and you could just start threading on your seed beads. You can close them over and just make a little pile. I'm just gonna show you this jump ring. So as I've brought it back around, can you see there's a little gap in that? don't want that because I don't want my six millimeters to fall off so I'm going to open it up again give it a little wiggle to make sure that's fully closed I've still kept that shape I've not cheated I've not pushed it in because if I push it in then I'm going to start changing that lovely shape I don't want to distort that ring so all I'm doing is opening it up closing it a little bit and just giving it a little wiggle so I'll show you it this way, whichever is easiest for you. Um, thank you, Lucy. Lucy has shared the link to the handmade group. So this is what I've been saying. If you've got anything that you need help or advice with, or if you are just particularly proud of something you've made, if you've bought one of the kits from our tutorials, then Although this is going to look pretty much the same, whatever you do with it, though you might want to mix up the colour of your um, seed beads, then, you know, whenever we do a tutorial, this is always just a guide to say this is what you can do with the materials. You might have a different idea in mind. So some of you now are saying this would make a lovely necklace, this would make a lovely choker, then make it and show us and then we'll go, ooh, and then people will get even more out of their kits because you're sharing your knowledge and ideas as well. So there I've made all of my jump rings. That looks a little bit wonky. And I've just had them ready closed. Thank you for that, Lucy. I appreciate that. Um, hello, Karen. She says she likes the look of this. Um, and Lucy's asking me, why do you have C's on your nails? They're little moons, Lucy. It's Halloween. So we've got a moon and a star. But yeah, they look a bit like seas. Okay. Because I'm creating. <laughs> right. So if you wanted to do it this way, what you would do is you would pick up your six millimeter jump rings and you can do it this way instead. So I'm opening it up. I'm going to make sure that my seed beads are in the direction that I want it to be, so opposite the last one. It's very dark in here, isn't it? And then I'm just gonna thread that on. Close it over. Should have opened these up first. Pick up another one. Open it up. 
Again, check my seed beads are in the right place and then attach that on. So you can attach them on the way I showed you originally or you can open up your six millimeter jump rings and just don't forget you need to add two onto there. So whichever method works, works best for you. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's just whatever you find the easiest. So I'm going to take a couple more of these out. I'm going to open up a couple of my six millimetres. So my smaller jump rings that are in the pack. Still opening them up exactly the same way. Either towards me or away from me. Going to pick up my bracelet. Position the seed beads because the seed beads can still go over to the other side. So I'm just going to knock them back into place. And it's the jump rings that kind of hold them into position on their side. So threading on the next 10 millimeter jump ring with the seed beads already on. Coming in with another six millimeter just to position that next to it. Managed to get that through it. Couldn't have done that if I tried. So again, you still don't need to be picking up and putting down your bracelet if you've already opened up the jump rings that you need open. Again, slide them over those seed beads onto the side that you want them to be on. So this time I'm going over to the right, picking up my jump ring, Adding on my larger jump ring, closing that over, picking up another six millimeter jump ring, sliding that on to both of the 10 millimeter jump rings, the one below it and the one I've just attached, closing that over. So for me, I think that's probably going to be the right length by the time I've got my clasp on it. You can pop as many on as you want. I'm gonna probably add one more on for good luck. So I'm taking my 10 millimeter jump ring, opening it up, threading on three of my size six seed beads onto those jump rings, onto that one jump ring, closing it back over. I'm gonna take my six millimeter jump rings. I'm gonna need two of those. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna slide my seed beads onto the side that I want them to be on, this time over to the left. I'm gonna pick up one of my six millimeter jump rings, attach that through the larger one and add on another larger one. Close it over, pick up another smaller jump ring and slide that onto both of the large jump rings and close that over. So I'm now going to lie it out flat. I'm going to check that my seed beads are going to sit on the opposite side each way so it wiggles all the way down. Don't worry about this one at the moment. Sometimes your seed bead might be small enough that it's going to slide through that jump ring. But when I put the clasp on, it will sit properly. If you want to, though, if you think, it might be a little less fiddly. You can always open it up, take it off that last seed bead and just put a slightly larger one on. So I might do that one now. So I'm going to open it up. So it's so easy if you make a mistake, which I haven't done, just thought it might work a little bit easier. I'm going to open it up, slide it on, going to get a larger sized one. They're all size six, but as I say, some are slightly irregular in shape and size. 
going to slide those back on and close that over. Making sure that's fully closed. Okay. So now all I've got to do is attach my jump rings to the last one here and then add on my clasp. So to do my clasp, I'm going to add two on as usual and then another jump ring to go through the end. So I'm going to open up one of my little jump rings and I'm going to pop my little 10 millimeter lobster clasp onto there. I'm going to take two more of my six millimeter jump rings and I'm going to slide that on. So I'm making sure my seed beads are in the side that they need to be. And close that over. And then going to take both of those little jump rings and the jump ring I've just added on my lobster clasp to. Lobster clasp has just fallen off. Can I do it without picking it up and putting it down? No, okay. So I'm just gonna slide that one through both of them. Pop my lobster clasp back on and close it over. And I'm gonna use another six millimeter one just to kind of be the jump ring that attaches it. However, if you want, if you think oh, it might be a little bit fiddly to put on, if you struggle to put your bracelets on, then you could always put a larger 10 millimeter on at the end if you need to. So I'm taking those two jump rings and I'm going to slide on that last little one. And now my bracelet is complete. So I've got those lovely little wiggly seed beads on either side. Going to see if I can put it on if I've made it the right length. So I'm just going to lay it across my wrist. Open up that lobster clasp. And then attach that through that last little jump ring now Camille will be watching me now saying you need to use a hairpin but all I'm doing is I'm holding it in place attaching that on and it is a little big for me I think I could have done with that one less maybe but they're really really comfortable to wear and they sit very, very pretty. Camille saying, yes, the hairpin. I didn't do too bad. I can always get them on, no problem. And then the minute I'm on camera, I'm all fingers and thumbs. David says, this looks really beautiful, Natalie, and easy. Sheila says, it's such a quick project. I'm going to bring these in so you can see our lovely colours Why I read you comments again. Because you've all put some lovely, lovely things um, hello to Jackie. Um, <laughs> you're a nutter. Lucy's saying, I thought she was sending out secret messages through her nails. Well, I don't know. Um, maybe it's subliminal. Maybe I'm saying Christmas is coming. They're not seas. They're little moons, Lucy. Ruth's saying she was imagining cat's tails. They are cute moons, Natalie. Right. Well, I didn't do these ones myself. I'm going to tell my nail technician that you're all laughing at my nails. Um, oh, yay. Angela's oh, Angel's just joined our Facebook group, which is lovely. Thank you so much and welcome. You won't regret it. Um, yeah. See, even Birgit knew they were moons, Lucy. Um see for Camille or something yeah possibly um hello to Tutu she says she loves the look uh hello to Jackie 
Um, yes, they are the your initials, Camille CC. Treen says, so pretty and good morning, Natalie. Love to watch your tutorials. Well, we love having you, Treen. Thank you so much. Good morning to Sheila. She says she loves it. It's a very quick project. Uh, David's loving it. Lucy's loving it. Um, and here is the link again today. So you can find us here. You can point there. <laughs> totally beads. Uh, .co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials. Clara bracelet today. Um, Karen says, thank you. They look beautiful. This is my first time. Welcome, Karen. Where are you watching from? Are you in the UK? Are you somewhere else? So thank you for joining us. So really quick, easy, easy makes today. Each bracelet, you're going to make four bracelets in each kit, each colorway. They are £5.99 each, or you can get two kits, which will make at least eight bracelets up for just £10. Absolute bargain. So thank you to Simon and the Warehouse for sorting those lovely kits out for us today. I'm going to be back with you on Monday. Uh, we are doing, oh, I've got a pretty, it's a bracelet, and I think it's the gorgeous silver foil cube bead bracelets. They're really, really easy to do, but the products are just so lovely. I thought, why complicate it? Let's use a little bit of tiger tail, some gorgeous little spaces, and let's make something quick, easy, and very, very lovely. Karen's in Milton Keynes. Hello to you. Um, Oh, Anna's made up. Anna says, yes, they're so lovely. I've managed to get all four. Brilliant. Well, you've got a double discount on there then, Anna. So, yeah, Monday I'll be back with you making bracelets. Wednesday, um, I'm hoping I'll be busy. And then, uh, so we shouldn't have a live on Wednesday because Kitty is still away in Hungary. So if you're watching Kitty, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. Give my love to Lucy and your dog. And I will be back again on Friday and then we're making the earrings. So someone was saying, I thought it was earrings today. We'll be doing the earrings on Friday. Then after that, oh, we're doing some gorgeous gemstone cuff bracelets, I think. There's just so much coming up. I can't wait to be with you. So come and join me. We are usually here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 10 o'clock UK time. But this Wednesday coming, we won't be with you. So we'll make it up to you. We'll do some extra lovely stuff instead. Uh, Tutu, you are most welcome. She says, good night, everyone from Hawaii. Um, Lucy says, she's in Milton Keynes too, Karen. Um, so why don't you have a little catch up at some point? Maybe have a cup of tea, get your chain mail bracelets on the go and have a little... Um, Creating copper afternoon, that sounds good. Uh, Birgit, you are most welcome. She says, thank you for the wonderful tutorial. Camille's loving it too. She says, have a great weekend, everybody, and hope it's not raining like today. It's started to rain just now. It's okay, though. It will start raining again when the school run happens because it always does. So have a lovely weekend, everybody, and I will see you on Monday.